1963, while a long and very boring paper was being presented, Stanislaw Ulam began doodling. He arranged positive integers in a square spiral and marked the prime numbers. He was surprised to find lines of extreme high and low densities. The diagonal lines have values on them expressed in this form, with even b, and horizontal and vertical lines with odd b. When b is even, parity depends on the value of c. This explains why alternating diagonals are left blank. That is, apart from the only even prime, 2. When quadratics have coefficients with a common factor greater than 1, the value will always be a multiple of that factor. If the quadratic can be factorised with integer constants, its value will be the product of each bracket as x varies. The value will only be prime when one bracket is 1 and the other a prime. Because of the grid's geometry, the values in the central diagonal are in this form, with any start number. Euler was first to notice that x squared plus x plus 41 generates primes for every x between 0 and 39. It's important to notice that the quadratic can also be written in this form, where 41 is a prime. So when x or x plus 1 is a multiple of 41, the value of the quadratic is also a multiple. The first time this happens is that x is 40. By applying a transformation, starting the spiral on 41, the significance of Euler's quadratic is clearly visible. Similarly, another such dense quadratic, x squared plus x plus 17, is represented by this spiral starting at 17. Although no polynomials with integer coefficients, all rational algebraic functions can give primes for all integer values. The Ulam spiral is an elegant visual indication that some quadratics are much more prime dense than others.